Hi everyone, this is Rob Vegas with EnergyDrinksToday.com. Today's video is going to be about the side effects of NOS, NOS uh, energy drinks, uh, high performance drinks. Um, I think it's fair to say that all energy drinks have the same issue. Um, they're loaded with a lot of caffeine and sugar and as we all know, um, caffeine can be uh, really bad for you and your health. Um, and I really eat the coffee. Uh, when I was in college, that's when I started drinking the hell out of coffee, coffee to stay awake. Um, I was partying at night, I came home from work, study, 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 and then I go out and, and coffee is what got me through my day and my nights. Well now you have these drinks, and these drinks are really good. Uh, I know a lot of people do these and donuts and whatnot, but you're taking a lot of calories. So here's the side effects. You won't be able to sleep. The good thing is when you're taking a test or whatnot, you'll stay awake. If you're an athlete, they're a diuretic, they make you pee, and they dehydrate you. So you don't want to take these if you're an athlete because now you're just hurting yourself and it doesn't make any sense. Drink some Gatorade. Um, also, these will raise your heart or your uh, blood pressure and your heartbeats will, will start getting heavier and heavier just like with coffee. You might start rambling, you might get very anxious. Your, uh, you might have some bowel irritation, you know, um, and I won't go into more details on that. But the side effects are there, but just do it in moderation and you'll have any issues. If you do one a day, you're not going to have that many issues. Just remember one of these, this is a, a 16 fluid ounce uh, can here, is worth probably about four to six cups of coffee. So you're good all day if you just have this. Just have one. Um, I wouldn't recommend this um, if you go to bed at 11 o'clock at night. I wouldn't take this anytime after 4 o'clock because you're just you're just going to beat yourself up. You know um, these will last you a long time, but then on the backside is your crash. Um, but you don't want to take this if you're going to bed at 11 or 12 o'clock at night. I wouldn't recommend this anytime after 4 p.m. And same thing with coffee. That's what they say. Don't have it after 4 p.m. if you're if you're going to go to bed at you know 10 or 11 because it'll stimulate you. It's a stimulant. So anyway, it's a good drink, no issues here. Um, this one's not that bad. Actually, this one has a lot of calories. It's 220 calories. Um, carbs, 54 grams. It's got B12 and B6, but when you look at the Monster Light, you know, you're talking 25 calories versus 220 calories. Um, six grams of sugar versus uh, 52 grams. This has a lot of caffeine and sugar. So if you're diabetic, you need to run for the hills. There's other ones out there that are sugar free as well. You can still get a little bit of pumped up energy with the caffeine that they have in it. But I would stay away from drinks like this if you're a diabetic or a borderline diabetic. And if you're having mood swings and whatnot, stay away from energy drinks and coffee. That's the bottom line here. Don't forget to check out energydrinkstoday.com. Get plugged into the RSS feed. I have a lot of different things I'm going to be putting on there. Also, if you're watching this channel, uh, watching this video on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Add me as a friend. I'll give you a shout out as well. I'm going to do some fun things. Get some music going. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to chug these like the guy in Texas, but uh, I'm going to do my best. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Have a good one. Bye bye now.